Well, it tells you they've got, they've got as much quality high up the pitch as any, uh, any team. When you look at that kind of from five, six, you know, uh, Salah, Gapko, Jota, uh, Nunes, Gakpo, you know, the options that they have across that front line are pretty mouth-watering. And now central midfield is looking a lot brighter in there. They've strengthened in that area of the pitch. So, yeah, so it is looking better. They've got goals in them, Liverpool. So they have those, have, they've had those periods so far this season where they've kind of struggled. And if you're Liverpool's part, you're thinking, oh, this isn't great. But suddenly in a 10, 15 minute period, that front three can click uh, into gear and they can take the game away from me. We know the qualities in um, uh, Salah in particular. Gakpo's really impressed me start of the season as well. Nunes showed particularly that cameo when he came off the bench against Newcastle. Uh, how effective he can be in that central uh, striking position, I'd suggest. So, yeah, so if you were kind of that Liverpool back four, if you were to put it in your rear view mirror and just kind of focus on that, those kind of midfield and forward areas, the proviso being grabbing back in terms of how much mm. he can impact the team. Yeah, if you were Liverpool support, you wouldn't be shouting from the rooftops in terms of we're going to put a ch- title challenge or we've turned the corner here, we're back. But you'd be quietly optimistic in terms of what you've seen from that Liverpool team. But the Liverpool supporters will know you know, those performances so, uh, this season haven't been good enough. You can't just keep turning up every season and saying, oh, performances haven't been great, but we nicked the result. At some stage, you have to go to the next level and really improve your level of performance. But I think they're capable of doing it, Liverpool. They're in a good place at the moment.